How you doing guys? Today we asked a question. Can mini wind turbines fill the gap between for your solar panels on overcast cloudy days, rainy days and overnight? Tune in, let's find out. Today we're going to be taking a look at mini wind turbines from Cutting Edge Power. They're a Texas based company. Uh, I'm a big supporter of American made products and uh, I had really high hopes for these. Now, as you can see, this one actually has a broken blade on it. This is not the blade that this one came with. Um, this particular blade came with the third uh, turbine that I received from the company. That's right, three. Um, this is the first one that I received from them. It did come with uh, with, with non-broken turbine. Uh, if, if you can see here, there's cracks along the housing. These cracks were not from tightening the hose clamp. This hose clamp has never actually been tightened. This is the way that it came from the manufacturer. These cracks developed the first time that I mounted them on a three quarter inch PVC pipe and that's the recommended dimension. That's what, it's, that's what fits in here. Uh, these, this is just cosmetic. This is just support material that was never cleaned out properly. Um, they're made out of PET G. So everything is 3D printed, the blades and the housing. This on this particular model, uh, the lamination got so bad that I actually had to glue this back portion back in. And no matter how much I tighten uh, this weatherproof uh, pass through for the wiring, uh, there's just considerable play in this. I mean, there's, I'm not putting any pressure on there whatsoever. I can move it with my pinky and you can see that it actually still moves. Uh, if you, if you could see here, the DC engine on this one is set back from the housing and when it originally arrived, the blades were so far back uh, that they, it was impossible for this to spin. So once I spaced them a little bit, um, I was able to get them to rotate uh, once I pointed them in the wind and that's another thing that you will have to keep in mind. These will have to be pointed into the wind in order for the blades to, to spin. They come with a three foot cord that is terminated in a male cigarette lighter adapter. Why a male cigarette lighter adapter? Honestly, I can't say. Um, I don't find this particularly useful uh, for two reasons. Number one, three foot of cable. You want to put your turbines up in the air in order for them to catch the most amount of wind. And three feet, how far are you going to actually run that? Aside from that, <coughs> pardon me. Aside from that, the, this little power button needs to be pushed in in order for the turbine to transfer power. Now this particular one never provided any type of power. No matter what I did, it never produced. Uh, never got 12 volts from it, never got any type of power from it. They did send a replacement model. That one is up in the air right now along with uh, the, th the third one that I have which is the new version of this. The difference between the old versions which is what this is and the new version is the way the housing is uh, shaped. It's a bit larger, it's more rounded, but you don't have these sharp angles and the wiring comes from the bottom as opposed to, to the back and that, that was a smart move. Um, now, the, the new version still has these cracks and they, they came again from the exact same uh, from the exact same thing. The moment that I placed it on the three quarter inch PVC pipe, it just cracked. Uh, I mean, I, I tend to be rough with my equipment, but this was not something that I was beating on. It was simply inserting the three quarter inch pipe and, uh, and it cracked. The, the second version that I had, the second model that I have of this particular version, the motor is mounted further up front and I was able to get some power out of that one. Um, it did produce 12 volts, but it was way less than a 0.1 amp. Uh, eventually I set up the second one and placed them in parallel. Now the second one did come with longer wires and instead of the cigarette lighter adapter, it came with a blade disconnects. That's what I requested from the manufacturer. Um, he was kind enough to send uh, longer wires. Those seem to be about 8 to 10 foot long. So that's definitely a big plus. Making it a lot more usable than this. Uh, the other problem I have with this is, and 
I've only been testing these uh, these one these, these version I've had for about two months the other one is going on about a month now me having uh, having it in operation uh, I initially placed the the working version of this well the so-called working version of this uh, on a charge controller that's made for for wind and uh, connected a 7 amp hour battery now let me be clear these were purchased uh, for a rancher that lives near me uh, who wanted to operate a weather station as well as uh, some other monitoring equipment for his cattle ultimately we ended up going with solar panels because on our first test we set this up at two o'clock in the afternoon facing into a strong wind we had 15 to 20 mile an hour winds throughout the whole day and we had gusts of up to 35 miles an hour overnight now uh, the battery that we placed we placed uh, with no charge um, sorry not with no load on the battery so from the turbine to the charge controller from the charge controller to the battery the battery was at 12.1 volts when we left it to charge we came back the next day at about 11 o'clock in the morning. The battery went from 12.1 volts to 10.9 volts. Uh, damaging the battery. The battery now at this point will not take a full charge. As I said, let's take a closer look at... Uh, okay, so these are the turbines in their mounted location. You can see they're both currently spinning. I don't have them connected to a load at this point uh, or to a battery uh, for the purposes of this video. Um, the one on the left is the newer version, the one on the right is the replacement for the one that we took a close look at. Now, even though this was sent to replace the other one, um, I'm trying to get in here without you get, without whacking the phone with the blade, you may be able to see the crack on the, on the housing itself. You can see the wires do come from the bottom on this one which is a much better design than the previous one. As you can see, the, the far one has the wires coming out of the back as the one that we saw close up. Now, those screws are set there to, to tighten down, to, to keep it in place. They've never been tightened. That crack developed from the moment that it was placed onto the PVC piping. They're spinning, but they're not producing any power. Between the two of them connected in parallel, we're getting 12 volts and 0 0.06 to 0 0.1 uh, amps. They're supposed to be rated for 15 watts, 0 0.5, 0 0.6 amps. Again, never gotten anywhere near that. Final thoughts. So, really disappointed with these, man. I was really hoping that these would uh, provide that little bit of extra power overnight and during those rainy days. And I'm sure that a wind turbine will, just not these. Uh, I'm really disheartened. I'm a big supporter of American-made products, and it really hurts when a, when a product doesn't perform. Uh, this is a short-term review. I'm going to continue testing. I'm going to be making some other changes. I'm going to be trying different uh, charge controllers to see if maybe that's the, the issue. I'm going to be taking this one apart and doing some testing on this one as well to see what's going on. What I would recommend to the manufacturer, quite honestly, is uh, to redesign the housing on these. I know that the other one is more rounded, but I would build some. I would uh, I would model some ridges uh, along the edges of these to reinforce that. Because uh, even if they don't, if, if some of the other ones, perhaps this was a bad batch of uh, pet G. It's possible. I mean, three different prints, three still the same issue. Unlikely, but hey, you never know. Uh, so there is that. They do have other versions that will point into the wind. Um, they do have a slip ring built in. These unfortunately don't, which again is a bit of a, a letdown. Uh, what's the point of having a turbine that you constantly have to be keeping track of where the wind is and pointing it into the wind? Uh, hopefully the, the newer models come with uh, without that cigarette lighter adapter. I know that they have a version that has USB ports um, directly built into the housing. Not exactly sure how useful that would be in charging uh, batteries at the low power outputs of these. I haven't had one to test. I'd be willing to test one, but communication with the company is not very good. It shouldn't take me a week to get a response back, especially when I'm replying to a response they just sent. I understand that they were going to several uh, RV 
shows. But still, if you just send me an email and I reply within two minutes of receiving that email, there's no reason why I would have to wait a week to get a response back. It's just not a good way of doing business. Um, rather rude in their communications, uh, talking down to you. You know, when I informed them that I wasn't getting any power out of this, I was very clear in the methods that I took to, to test to see how that power, whether that power is coming out. And his response to me was, well, there's a button on there that you press the button. Really, dude? Come on. Oh, anyway, guys, uh, to answer the question, can mini wind turbines fill that, need, fill, fill that gap? More than likely, just not these. Uh, we'll, we'll revisit these again in another couple of months and see how they've done. Until, until then, I got to say, stay away. Hopefully you found some information in this valuable. If you did, please comment, like, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that, hit that bell button for notifications. Have yourselves a good day, and I'll see you on the next video.